now we have arrived at the Mon Cherie tea factory and the, the tea plantations. And behind me you can see the bags of tea which are unloaded from the truck, hooked up to the system and are brought into the factory storage. So the fresh pig tea, which is also actually falling out of the bags a little bit down there, has a really nice smell. So inside the tea factory, which is still operating, is also a tea museum, where they show all this old machinery, how they used to do it in the past. And it's very interesting to see the history of the tea. And this factory was built 1892 and there's also a very interesting chart here about the different forms of tea bags which were offered in the past. Different poach bags and round type tea bags, square tea bags, etc. Now we are waiting here at the reception for a tour through the real tea factory which is still in operation. It seems like it's going to be very loud inside. Let's see if we can make some recordings. So this is actually the first step where they get the fresh tea leaves and they store them here for 24 hours to dry them a little bit and get some humidity out. After the tea leaves have been dried, they will be crushed, coming down here and are transported into the fermenter, how they call it. This is this machine here, where they will be fermented for one and a half hour. You can see this machine is actually moving very slowly. So this is a crushed and fermented tea, still very humid, smells like a little bit earthy. So the fermented tea comes out of this machine, you saw before, is straightened out and goes then into the oven there where it's heated up to 110 degrees for 10 minutes and this is the oven actually where the tea is then dried for 10 minutes and see it's reaching a temperature of 60 degrees here and then further down goes up to 80 degrees at the end the tea comes out here on this belt and here is the finished product. Yeah. Marty is going to smell a little bit. Is it nice? It smells like tobacco. It smells like tobacco? Yeah. Are we in a cigarette factory? <laughs> Here comes the tea from the fermentation and is sorted with the, um, sorted mechanically and electronically to remove the stems and only keep the leaves. So here the stems are separated uh, electromagnetic see them flying out on the top and everything which is falling underneath is filled into tea bags and this machine is sorting then all the different qualities and the different sizes of the tea leaves they are packed into different bags
using tea bags. So this is the etiquette. There's uh, fabric for the tea bag coming. And then in here they fill the bag. And down here they glue in the etiquette. And then it goes down here. And the lady here is then packing the tea bags into the boxes. So here 80% of the production remain on the domestic market, only 20% are exported. And in the factory there are 70 people working and they have 500 women picking up the leaves on the fields. Every day. Every day. So and it's a daily process because the, pro the procedure is quite short, 24 hours lying, the freshly pick picked up leaf and then quickly one and a half hours fermentation, 10 minutes heating and then it goes to the processing. So it's a it's a daily process. And where are we going now? We're going to taste. So we have a tea... Tasting. Tea tasting. Tea tasting. In the main building. So now we are here at the tea tasting facilities. And I have a black tea with cardamom. My sister has a black tea with bergamot. Marty is currently brewing his green tea. And my father has a, a black tea. And you get these boxes here on the table. Rooibos, cardamom, don't know what this one is, like, bergamot. And then you can try them. If you, if you don't like it, you just, like in a wine tasting, you just pour that excess tea here into this pot. That's nicely located, overlooking the greens. Some tropical birds are also enjoying the tea tasting. We just stopped at this little local market where you can buy all kinds of fruits and vegetables. And we just spotted this sign here, which is Marty pointing. It says no plastic bags anymore since 1st of January. 2016, so it's over a year now. So they're actually one year ahead of Switzerland with this rule. Switzerland has not forbidden it yet. No, but you have to pay for it since the 1st of January. Yeah. Ah. So you can see no plastic, bring your own bag. Very good. And there's even a fine. I, I just saw it. So if you're using a plastic bag, you have to pay a 10,000 rupee fine. That's very cool. tea plantation and stopped at the local market which picture you just saw we are back at the beach and actually the rest the restaurant not the restaurant the hotel next to our hotel is called the Lux Hotel and they serve really nice coffee they have a barista here and the coffee quality is really nice Marty is really happy and they have cheesecake and they, have cheesecake. <laughs> and, uh, they also have here a selection of sugar so there are different sugars because sugar is produced here locally. Right, like Muscovado, standard Demerara, coffee crystal, cold and granulated. So this has a gentle crunchy texture, subtle buttery flour, and fl flavor, dark Muscovado and soft brown. So the Moscovado sugar is a really famous one. It's a famous one. It may taste almost a little bit like chocolate, if yeah. I remember right. So... Oh my goodness! There's a sunshine in the coffee. They put a sunshine in the coffee. 
It's the Louis Cans, the Roi Soleil. Sunshine on the beach and sunshine in the coffee. This is coffee made with love. So the cheesecake has arrived and Marty will try it. And? It's cheesecake, yeah. It has no, it has no bottom. So the Lux has also some additional features. And one of them is the balançoire. And Fritjof becomes a child again. A swing, a sling, a swing. Balançoire. We are currently back in the room and as you can see here on the floor we have packed our things. Suitcases are packed because unfortunately tomorrow time to go. It's time to leave. And uh, this night we will have a last dinner in this hotel. Thank you very much for watching this day again with us. And we will make the next vlog tomorrow when we travel home. It's going to be a long travel because we're going to fly from Mauritius back uh, to Frankfurt and then from Frankfurt back to Zurich with a train and we'll be home midnight midnight tomorrow. So it's almost like 20 hours of traveling to leave this paradise. So thank you for watching this last episode in Mauritius of the way we saw it. With a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and keep following us. See you soon. See you bye. soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.